Hi everybody, this is Rose of Sharon and I'm back again with another movie review. I just recently got to see Night of the Nel <laughs> Yes, English is my first language. I must remind myself of this continually, but... <laughs> Rewind. Hi everybody, this is Rose of Sharon, back again with another movie review. I just recently got a chance to see Night of the Roxbury. Got it right. Um... <laughs> This is based on the infamous SNL skit that actually starred Jim Carrey, and there's a scene that hints at that, and it's it's very clever, clever it's very subtle, and me being the huge Will Ferrell, Ferrell fan that I am, I, I haven't really, well, I don't watch any of his newer films because currently... I love you to death, Will, but the movies that you're starring in right now really stink and you can do better just saying hate to be stringent and rough with my commentary but everybody wants to say it but nobody's gonna say it to his face moving on this movie's perfect the soundtrack is everything it's just unreal perfection will is in the movie and he stars with his co-star co who, that particular actor hasn't been in anything else since Night of the Roxbury. And this also is a very good rom-com that has excellent life lessons in it. And there are some really funny, funny lines and scenes. And I absolutely loved it. <laughs> and it just proves that love in its many forms will come when you least expect it. But you have to be patient. It has to come in the right form. And uh, I'm finding that to be true. Even though um, it doesn't exist for me just yet. I know it will. But I just have to give it time. It's just like lyrics from In the Heights. Pacencia y fe. I'm like, yeah, I know. It don't remind me. <laughs> Pacencia y fe. Yeah, I'm aware of this. But... <laughs> Maybe I'm probably quoting that because I know I'm going to see Hamilton in March. But anywho. Um, <laughs> but it's a great movie. If you enjoy the skit, this is more of that and even better. And you would think to yourself, hmm, how is this going to be successful? How would it, how would it work? Does it have the potential to actually work on the big screen. The answer to all of the above is an astounding yes, and my expectations were exceeded immensely because when I was younger, I, I'd always been a fan of Night of the Roxbury. I just, I love that skit. I love the actors in it, and it's hysterical, and no matter how many times I've seen it, it's made me laugh. I never thought it could actually translate well into something on the big screen. Boy, was I ever wrong. I had to suspend my disbelief for a minute. But it's a, a wonderful film. Of course, it has a lot of repeating themes that other rom-coms do. But it's one of those movies that you don't really have to think too hard. But it is very clever in its way. It's just, it's got this wit about it. It has so, so much commentary on the, the two characters that eventually you know that even though they aren't the brightest bulbs in the box, <coughs> they mean well. And there's a happy ending. So me being the schmaltzy person I am, I love happy ending. Um, I really don't have that much else to say other than I'm very grateful for all of you who come and subscribe. And it means the world to me that you do. Uh, I am thinking of writing...